What's up everybody? I'm Blevin Robinson with West Coast Cajun Cuisine and today's video... Turkey Jambalaya. Welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to cook authentic Cajun cuisine, comfort food, and just about anything for that matter, then you've come to the right place. Click that subscription button and that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now today's video is a turkey jambalaya, which I made with some leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. If you don't have any more turkey or you're just tired of turkey, use chicken. It works perfectly fine. Now this is a different recipe than my last jambalaya. Uh, video and trust me this recipe is crazy good to the point that I don't even use the other recipe anymore Not that the other one is bad or anything. I just like this recipe more So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the chase and get to the kitchen and show you how to make it All right, this is some of what we're gonna need here I have some canola oil some all-purpose flour one yellow onion one green bell pepper one stalk of celery. I'm going to mince about three teaspoons of garlic. I have an andouille sausage that I quartered and about two cups of jasmine long grain rice. And if you have any turkey stock that you might have made over the holidays, we're going to need about six cups of that. If not, just use chicken stock. That works just fine. And we also have our leftover smoked turkey. Now, if you don't have any turkey or you just tired of turkey, use chicken. It works perfectly fine. But you know what? Some people like to make a turkey for Christmas. This is a perfect opportunity for you to use those leftovers. Now the full recipe is going to be down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get to the kitchen and start cooking. All right, we're going to start off by heating up our oil to a medium heat and then we're going to add our flour. Now once we add the flour, we're going to stir this consistently non-stop till we get the desired color of our roux. Now it's very important that you do not stop stirring this because if you burn the roux, it's going to ruin the whole recipe. Now after about 8 to 10 minutes, as you can see here, we have almost a peanut butter color. Now we want to take this a step further and get to like a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate color. So we're going to keep on going. All right, as you can see here, we have a nice dark roux. So now we're going to add our vegetables. And once we get our vegetables in there, we're going to give it a nice stir and get it mixed well. You don't have to stir as diligently as you had before while making the roux because the vegetables are going to cool it off a little bit and stop the roux from cooking as much. But you do have to go ahead and stir frequently. So we're going to go ahead and cook this for about five minutes or so. And after five minutes, we're going to season the vegetables. Now, the recipe for the seasoning is going to be in the description box below. And once we get that in there, we just want to make sure it's well incorporated, give it a good mix. And then we're going to start adding our garlic. Now, I have three large garlic cloves here. I'm going to run through this press. And once I get uh, all the garlic in here, we're going to go ahead and mix again and make sure it's all well incorporated. And then we're going to cook this down for about two to three minutes. Now after the garlic is cooked down some, we're going to go ahead and add some chicken stock. Now I would have much rather add the homemade turkey stock that I made for Thanksgiving, but I used that for a gumbo the day after. So once we get that stock in there, we're going to go ahead and give it a quick mix. Make sure everything's well incorporated. We're going to bring this up to a boil. And then once it starts to boil, we're going to drop it down to a simmer. And we want to let this simmer for about 10 minutes, just long enough for that roux and that stock to start making a gravy. All right, now that it's thickened up some, we're going to go ahead and add our sausage and then our turkey. Now, once we get our meats in there, we're going to give it a quick mix, make sure it's mixed very well. And then we're going to bring this up to a boil. And once it starts to boil, we're going to cover it with the lid. And then we're going to place this into a preheated 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. Now, after 20 minutes, what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is one hell of a turkey jambalaya. Now I'm going to give this a quick mix, make sure the rice is all nice and cooked. And as you can tell, there's no crunchy burnt rice at the bottom. That's why I like to cook it in the oven. And now what we're going to do is add a tablespoon of butter. And once I get that butter in there, we're going to mix it around, make sure it's melted. And then once that butter gets melted, we're going to plate this up and eat. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, turkey jambalaya. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. 
Now the next video, not exactly sure which one I want to show you, but I got a couple of good ones in the pipe right now. And listen, if you haven't already, click that subscription button and that notification bell so you don't miss those videos. And while you're here, go ahead and check out one of the other videos on this channel, and I'll see you there.